Hello guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video I am going to be explaining why I like Shane in The Walking Dead. So let's just get started. So Shane is a character who plays Rick's best friend in The Walking Dead. He is also the main antagonist in season 2 of The Walking Dead. Now, a lot of people say they absolutely hate Shane, and while I can understand why, I am going to tell you why I don't hate him, and how I actually think he is one of the best and most important characters in The Walking Dead ever. Alright, so let's talk about all of the things Shane is hated for and break them down. The first and most popular reason why he is hated is because of his relationship with Laurie. Most people would say that he is a horrible person for getting with Laurie after the apocalypse started. But everyone looks past the fact that both Shane and Laurie thought Rick was dead. If you watched the show, you would know that Shane and Laurie's relationship wasn't immediate. Shane haters seem to think that Shane wanted to be with Laurie all along when that is simply not true. In the beginning of the show, you can see how much Shane cares for Rick. They talk about Rick and Laurie and their relationship problems. Shane tries to help him the best way he can. From this scene, there is nothing to indicate Shane wanting to be with Laurie before everything happened. All I see is a guy trying to help his friend. Here is a small clip of this scene. Taz with Lori, man. She's good. She's good at turning off lights. Right. Really good. Yeah. I don't know when he sometimes forgets. What I meant. We didn't have a great night. Hey, look, man, I may have uh, failed to amuse with my sermon, but I did try. The least he could do is, is speak. That's, that's what she always says. <laughs> speak. You think I was the most closed mouth son of a bitch you ever hear her tell it? Do you express your thoughts? Do you share your feelings, that kind of stuff? Thing is, lately, whenever I try, everything I say makes her impatient, like she didn't want to hear it after all. It's like she's pissed at me all the time, and I don't know why. Look, man, that's just shit couples go through. You know, it's a, it's a phase. So going from here we know that Shane had no intention of taking Laurie from Rick at any point. The only reason Shane and Laurie's relationship started was because Shane thought Rick was dead and he was doing what he could for him and that was helping his family survive. But Shane and Laurie's relationship just kind of developed. It wasn't intentional at all and it wasn't immediate. It happened slowly over time. For me, I honestly don't see a problem with them being together. If they both thought Rick was dead and they didn't immediately get together, then I don't think that it's cheating. I mean, yes it is a little weird and it can be debated if it's wrong or not, but if they both thought Rick was dead, I don't think it's a big issue. The real issue starts when Rick miraculously returns. After he returns, Lori begins to shut Shane out of her and Carl's life. And she does have a good reason for it. Shane told her that Rick was dead, and as you can see, he isn't. So, from her point of view, Shane lied so that he could be with her. But from a scene that we are shown later on, we can see that Shane didn't lie about Rick being dead. When the apocalypse starts, Shane is in the hospital. He is there to save Rick from all the chaos. But Rick is still in the coma, and he has to be carried. Shane tries to, then realizes that Rick is hooked up to a machine. He then puts his ear to Rick's chest and listens for a heartbeat. But he doesn't hear one. Now some people say something along the lines of, he heard a heartbeat and lied, but I refuse to believe that. You can clearly see Shane in a panic state, desperately trying to save Rick. There is no way he did all of that to save him to just leave Rick there alive. I believe that there was so much going on in the background that he didn't hear Rick's heart. It makes sense. There were gunshots, walkers and he was in panic mode. Here is a clip of that scene. Okay. 
Now, after Laurie told Shane to stay away from her and Carl, Shane tried to get her to talk with him about it so that maybe she could understand the situation better. But she didn't listen. She refused to. And while I understand why she did that, I also think that it would have been a good idea to hear Shane out. If Laurie actually let Shane talk to her about what happened and she was understanding, I think it would have changed a lot of things. And maybe everything could have turned out better. But Laurie just shut him out and I think that decision was a fatal mistake. I wholeheartedly believe that this was the defining moment that put Shane on a path to his own demise. Because from then on, Shane goes from being understanding and willing to discuss the situation to really angry. You can tell this from his actions. He takes his anger out on Ed and he even thinks about killing Rick for a few seconds while he was out in the woods with him. Here are some of the clips from those scenes. Until we can catch frogs. Well, doesn't matter what Shane says. It matters what I say. Go on. Back to camp. I'll be right behind you. I gotta tell you, I do not think you should be taking this out on him. You don't tell me what to do. You lost that privilege. Hey, Lori, could you just... Just wait up a sec. I think we should talk. You know, no, we haven't had a no, chance. No, I don't... that's over, too. You can tell that to the frogs. Damn it, Lori. Look, I don't know how it appears to you. How it appears think... to me? I'm sorry. Is there a gray area here? Let me dispel it. You stay away from me. You stay away from my son. You don't look at him. You don't talk to him. From now on, my family is off limits to you. Lori, I don't think that's fair. Shane, I don't think that I deserve shot. that. I don't think that you do it. My husband is back. He is alive. He's my best friend. I don't know how you think that I'm not happy about that. How dare you? Why would you be? You are the one that told me that he died. You son of a bitch. Now I'm done talking. Come on. No. No. Carol, you don't no, have Carol. You don't tell me what! I tell you what! what? Oh, oh, One more time, I will not stop next time. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. I'll beat you to death, Ed. So, from then on, you have obvious tension between Shane and Laurie. Shane considers leaving the group entirely, but Laurie, being herself, tells him that he shouldn't leave. Shane takes this as, she wants them to be together again, when in fact, that is not her intention at all. Now, I know that Shane is the one who caused the most problems in these situations, and I'm not trying to blame anyone else for that, but I believe that Laurie just made everything a lot worse. She was so back and forth with Shane, and she pretty much told Rick to kill him. This is a big reason why I don't like Laurie. She was just so inconsistent. I don't think that this was bad writing, I just think that's how they wrote Laurie's character. And if that was what they were trying to do, then they did great. But I just don't like how Laurie treated Shane and how she kind of low-key manipulated him. Yes, Shane is a grown adult, but you still shouldn't play with someone's emotions like that. Here is a clip from that scene. But at the end of the day, Shane was the one who tried to kill Rick. And that's about the only thing I don't like about Shane. 
It's the fact that he believed that Laurie and Carl belonged to him, when that couldn't be farther from the truth. Obviously this is a big reason to dislike Shane, but there are many other reasons that aren't as black and white as this. There are many other situations that I actually agree with Shane on. And even though I didn't like how he went about it most of the time, I still think he was in the right. But survival-wise, I think Shane has always been smarter. Even though I love Rick and he is my favorite character, there were many times when Rick made the wrong call and Shane made the right one. Most people just side with Rick because he is the main character, as well as being a good moral man, but I'm able to admit when my favorite character is in the wrong. Now let's look at the times when Shane was in the right. So the first example I have on this list is about Rick going back for Merle. When Rick and the group left Atlanta, they were forced to leave Daryl's brother Merle. Well it is cruel to do that to someone, they had no choice. After they told Daryl about what happened, he wanted to go get him. And since Rick felt bad, he decided to go. But when this happened, Shane protested against it. He didn't think that Merle Dixon was worth risking the safety of the camp, and he was right. Merle was a racist, druggy, white trash fool who was no good to anybody. But Rick didn't care because he felt responsible. Rick was willing to risk four men, including himself for Merle. If it were up to me, I would have to agree with Shane. Men like Merle will only create more risk for the group and it just isn't worth risking even one person for him. Here is a clip from that scene. You know, you're just gonna walk off? Just to hell with everybody else? I'm not sitting to hell with anybody. Not you, Shane, Lori, least of all. You tell her that. She knows. Well, look, I... I don't, okay, Rick? So could you just... Could you throw me a bone here, man? Could you just tell me why? Why would you risk your life for a douchebag like Merle Dixon? Hey, choose your words more carefully. Oh, no, I did. Douchebag's what I meant. Merle Dixon. Yeah, I wouldn't give you a glass of water if you were dying of thirst. What he would or wouldn't do doesn't interest me. I can't let a man die of thirst. Me. Thirst and exposure. We left him like an animal caught in a trap. That's no way for anything to die, let alone a human being. The next thing I have is the barn. At some point when the group were staying at the farm, Glenn found out that Herschel and his people were keeping walkers in the barn. Glenn eventually told everyone about this, and Shane was quick to let everyone know that he thought it wasn't safe and that they should take care of it. And I agree with Shane. Having walkers in the barn is definitely a big safety hazard, and clearing it out was the right thing to do. Shane told Rick this, but because it was Herschel's land, Rick said no. Rick talked with Herschel, and Herschel said no. So, at that point, Rick didn't know what to do, and Shane just wanted it taken care of, so the group could be safe. So, what Shane decided to do, is take matters into his own hands, and kill all the walkers in the barn, and he did just that. Now, I understand that Herschel thought that walkers were just sick people, but at that point, what he thinks doesn't matter. What matters, is keeping everyone safe. Plus, another reason why I agree with him, is that if they had never cleared the barn, they never would have found Sophia. So, once again, I am going to have to agree with Shane on this one. The next and probably most controversial decision that I agree with Shane on is the killing of Randall. So, Randall was a part of a group who was shooting at Rick, Glenn and Herschel when they were all in the bar in town. Randall was abandoned by his group when he was impaled on a fence. Rick didn't want to just leave this kid, so he saved him and brought him back to the farm. He did blindfold the kid so that he didn't know where they took him. But, when they saved him, Rick didn't know what to do with him. Shane wanted to kill him. Rick didn't want to. After Daryl interrogated Randall, they found out that his group had around 30 men and that they were heavily armed. Shane heard this and he knew that Randall had to die. Here is a clip that shows Shane's reason for wanting to kill Randall. Yeah, the way I see it, there's only one way to move forward. Killing him. Right? I mean, why even bother to take a vote? It's clear which way the wind's blowing. Well, if people believe we should spare him, I want to know. Look. Say we let him join us, right? Maybe, maybe he's helpful, maybe he's nice. We let our guard down and maybe he runs out, brings back his 30 men. So, as you can see, Shane didn't want to kill Randall for no reason. Randall was just a big risk because he could eventually run away and bring his group there. Now, that does seem like it is not likely, but it could very well happen, and if it did, the group would be done for. I mean, this is the apocalypse and you can't trust anybody. Killing is not an easy thing to do, but sometimes it is necessary to keep everyone safe. Plus, Rick did very similar things to this in the later seasons. It just took Rick longer to let go of his morals in order to keep the people he loves safe. Alright, so leading into the conclusion, I am going to discuss a couple of Shane quotes that I like. So here we go. We're going back, it's a man's life. I need a night to think it through. 
You're gonna bring this piece of garbage. This piece of garbage. You, he shot at you, Rick. He ran with men who tried to kill you. You're gonna bring him back to where Lori sleeps? To where Carl sleeps? He'll be locked up in the barn unless you bust it open. I don't start this shit. I'm taking the knife. You know, man, you take that. You think on it, Rick. Keep, keep struggling with it. It ain't hard, man. The right choice is the one that keeps us alive. Now, this first quote is one of my favorites from Shane. I love it so much because it is true. In the dark world of The Walking Dead, morals don't matter much anymore. They won't keep you alive. Sometimes you will have to do horrible things just to keep your family safe. And if you truly want to protect your loved ones, the right choice is the one that keeps you alive. This goes along with another one of Shane's quotes that I love. You don't think I would've done it? Oh man, I know you wouldn't. You don't think I could keep Lori or Carl safe? I didn't say that. Or my baby. Is it gonna have to be me too? Rick, you can't just be the good guy and expect to live, okay? Not anymore. This is just another way of saying that you can't be morally righteous and expect to survive. It's just not how it works anymore. But this leads me into my final point. That Shane, survival-wise, was never wrong. If you go back and watch the show, you will see that Shane just adapted faster to the apocalypse than anyone else. Later on in the show, Rick becomes just like Shane. Shane just let go of his morals earlier in the apocalypse and focused solely on keeping the group alive. That's exactly what Rick does in later seasons. If season 5 Rick were to meet season 2 Shane, I believe that they would get along very well and be a great duo. And I honestly would have loved to see that. It sucks that Shane had to die, but I believe that Shane's death was a significant event that helped Rick become the person that he is now. The story of Shane Walsh is just sad in my opinion. Shane was a very strong, intelligent guy who knew what it took to stay and keep people alive. He was a very important member in the original Atlanta group, and if he lived, I believe that he would have survived for a very long time. But in the end, he was clouded by anger and jealousy, and that was his downfall. Overall, I love Shane's character and I think he was very important in the show, especially for Rick's character, to be able to grow in later seasons. And that is why I love Shane and The Walking Dead. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear other opinions and takeaways from you guys. Thank you all for watching my video, I really do appreciate it and I'll see you guys in the next video.